The upper, lower, and proper functions in Microsoft Excel are all pretty similar. Upper makes everything uppercase, lower makes everything lowercase, and proper capitalizes the first letter in each word. So let's try this out. So what I'm gonna do is update these names to change the way they look. So I'm gonna start with upper first, and I'll go ahead and select the name on the left and close it, and we'll see that that'll make the name on the left all uppercase. Now, if I wanted them all lowercase, I'd type out equals lower, and then select the name on the left and close this. And there we go, it's all lowercase. Now let's show what proper looks like here. I'm gonna type out in this same cell, proper. I'll select the name on the left, close this. And what it did was it's, in this case with proper, it's capitalizing the first letter of each word. So it took Chase, the last name that was lowercase, and capitalized the first letter. Now let's say that that's the format I wanna use. Instead of retyping this formula in every row, what I can do is go to the bottom right corner of the cell until I see this symbol appear, double click, and it'll autofill all of it for me. Now what I may wanna do here though, is let's say I wanna keep this updated name column and get rid of the first column. What'll happen is if I try to delete this right now, it's gonna leave me with cell reference errors in my new column because it's trying to refer to a cell that's no longer there. What I wanna do is remove these formulas so it's just text left over. One way to do that is to click on, in this case, B up above here to select the entire column and then hit Control or Command C to copy this column. And then I wanna paste them in as values by going to the paste options here and then choosing the third option which is the first under paste values to just paste values and not the formulas. Now, if I click on a cell, I'll see that the formula is gone. It's just the name of the individual there. Now, if I delete the first column, I should no longer see these errors. And I've got my cleaned up name here. Thanks for watching. Now, if you want the link to the sample file used in this video, it's down in the description, as well as a link to an Excel course if you're interested.